Your Excellency, we have uh, come a long journey. You remember in 2012 when we discovered uh, uh, oil in the two blocks. A lot of anxiety came into the country. Everybody said, is it enough? Should we pipe it? Is it going to work? Your Excellency, why I want to thank you today is because in January 2016, you took a decision, a decision that has brought this EOPS, the conventional way cycle of, of uh, oil and gas is 20 to 30 years. But you wanted to test the market. You directed us to undertake an unconventional cycle of testing what Kenya has already produced. And Your Excellency, thank you very much for that action. That followed. We collected the barrels we collected. We've been tracking 1,800 trucks that brought the, brought the 240 barrels. We, we're going to flag this, this afternoon. Your Excellency, this has been a shorter period compared to the 20, 20 30 uh, years we would have taken. But Your Excellency, I want to thank Talo once more. Because in 1987, Your Excellency, I worked in the same block pulling those GFOs in Lokichar with an American company called Amaco. But Talo with, the, with the com a Chinese company, BGP, discovered this oil in the same area where Trukana through the American company could not get. So in that case, I really want to thank them for, for this discovery. But Your Excellency, work has started. This is like a Premier League. Yeah, Your Excellency, in, uh, Kenyans like uh, uh, watching football and Premier League. I've always challenged my team that we cannot dance with the ball and talk of barrels and talk of shipping uh, oil to, to the refineries here without this going through a vessel. For the first time, this is a milestone. Kenyans can proudly say we have achieved. But Your Excellency, work has started. We need to actually discuss with the counties, the seven counties, to deliver on land, because we need a pipeline. That work has already started. I'm sweet talking Honorable Nyangapuo to give us a word. And today he has accepted <laughs> to allow the project get the water for us to succeed with the new face. I thank you very much. Your Excellency, this is a very good project for Kenya. When it's completed, I know it's going to open up the northern Kenya region. It will spur economic growth. It will create jobs for our Kenyans. If you go to Turkana today, Turkana has changed because of this oil we are talking about. Today, the Ops, Your Excellency, we want to transition to Project Oil Kenya. But that comes with challenges because the investors would want to see us put on the table the land title that will actually allow the pipeline to be constructed from Lokicha to Lamu. We will need water, we will need commitment, Your Excellency. I want to promise you with the joint venture team working with our government and with the new coordinating uh, approach of the, of the committee of cabinet, we will now track this project in the next two years. I want to promise Kenyans in front of our president 
that by 2020, we should have the plans to make us proceed with the construction of the pipeline from Lokicha to Lamu.